Welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. Last time we explored the Royal Waterways and got to the basin, I forget the name of it. Ancient Basin, which connects to Deep Nest somehow. We haven't quite unlocked whatever that is. Um, wow, he was not kidding about not getting very far in Deep Nest. Um, and exploring the Royal Waterways actually got me access to the rest, presumably, considering this is actually the rightmost edge of the City of Tear. So that is what we're going to be doing this time. And then maybe going back to Fog Canyon. That is the name, right? Yeah. Um, because my reasoning is we can access stuff there now, I'm pretty sure. And we have a lot of health, so the fact that, you know, getting caught, you know, kind of with my cloak down, um, with regards to the exploding jellyfish core things, isn't as big a deal, since they do do friggin' two masks of damage. comfortable, and that's probably not a great thing. <laughs> uh, can I go up here? No. That's a solid glass barrier. But it appears, yeah, I can't really do anything here. Yeah, I'm not fighting you. You're you're actually worth a crap load of geo, but it's not worth the risk, really. There's a stagway over here? King Station. I mean, okay. I just wasn't ex This is going to be another whole sub area. Um let's let's activate the stagway first. Also broken. Huh. What happened here? Just. Time doesn't make sense as a reason. Because the Queen Station and all the other stagways are still intact. Huh. Three hundred Geo. Huh. Alright. 
Alright, so there's actually not a ton I can do here in the city. Oh no, 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 there's this chunk up here. We also found a single piece of pale ore last time, but we need a second one for our next upgrade for our nail. Wanderer's Journal. Which is just worth a ton of free Geo. Neat. I just think they're neat. drop wherever I am game. Cursed are those who turn against the king. Is this the black tomb? Oh! Protect the vessel the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomen the teacher in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian the watcher in his spire, looking over the city. Hera the beast in her den amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, Hallownest lasts eternal. Dreamer locations added to the map. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to the sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel? Or by that captive light? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet still our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. I don't like these three. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away, and let us sleep in peace. Is that a... fate they visited upon you, to cast you away into the space between body and soul. 
Will you accept their judgment and fade away slowly? Or will he take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? Taking the dream nail. Hold Y to charge and slash with the nail. Cut through the veil between dreams and waking. Turn. Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they have and dragged you into that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit that the sacred blade has dulled over time. Perhaps together we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence. The precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you find it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go out into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect a hundred essence and return to me. I will teach you more. Resting grounds. Oh boy. So, this is something we can just do while exploring. And just have to remember to go to wherever those trees are. Is that all of them here? Allows the wielder to cut through the veil between dreams and waking. Can be used to open to reveal hidden dreams or open gateways. The dream nail can collect essence, remnants of wishes and dreams. See, I I knew the name of the dream nail. Because it's kind of well-known and talked about in, like, achievements and stuff. Dream Shield. Defensive charm once wielded by a tribe that could shape dreams. Conjures a shield that follows the bear and attempts to protect them. Um, I actually figured it was the top tier of the regular nail, not a separate item. Yeah, it seems like I got everything from that one. There's the Stagway here. Sorry, I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store and dirt meth and... Okay. I wonder if there actually was corner for dialogue here. Ah, many stag stations have been opened. Again, I can travel the breadth of the kingdom. So many grand thoroughfares and old sideways I had forgotten. Somewhere amongst the lines lies the stag nest, the place where I was born and raised. I would thought its location lost my failing mind, but now I can almost remember the path. If you keep opening stag stations and beckoning me through them, perhaps I'll find that nest. Ah, I would like that very much. So I guess we did progress the main plot by accident. Um, and I am just barely short of a vessel fragment.
Madaula Misu. So you're still talking about uh, Hallow Nest's crown. Bapanada. <sighs> Resting Grounds. A map of the Resting Grounds, a sacred place not far from the crossroads. Cornifer told me he found the area serene and calming, but it sounds a bit spooky to me. No thanks. Whispering Root Pin. Cornifer has been telling me about these strange whispering roots he's been seeing. I made some pins so you can record their locations yourself. And Warrior's Grave Pin. Cornifer told me he found some interesting looking graves and shrines in the depths. You can use these pins to mark down any interesting graves on your map. Go and pay your respects. Okay, awesome. Then I need Essence to upgrade the Dream Nail so I can fight the uh, Dreamers, I guess, and undo some seals. I guess I should probably go to the Temple of the Black Egg, finally. I assume that I can do something at Warrior's Graves with the Dream Nail, since it's the same color as the Whispering Root pins. Watch, this is going to get me like a double jump or something. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of frustrated that I waited this long. again. Is this not where, uh... I guess this isn't where, um... How am I forgetting her name? Hornet wanted me to go. It's just an important place. So, let's see... Quickest to access from here is probably just going to be the one over in Crystal Peak. Because I have to kill the Dreamers at some point anyway, I'm pretty sure. I may as well make sure that I have the tool to do it with. So, like, can I break these platforms? No. The dust is a strictly cosmetic thing. Two. I'm curious. Three. Four. Five. Six. Wow, six hits for the big guys now. Cover my shell. What meaning in darkness? Yet here I remain. I'll wait here forever till light blooms again. Oh. Bury body covered shell. Darkness, no meaning. Dangerous, still remain. Light again. How much longer? Kill it! How much longer? Dangerous! How much longer? Kill it! How much longer? Kill the empty one! How much longer must I dig?
Well, I don't even have the actual quest for those anyway. I don't have to take this route anymore. Oh well. Yeah. That was specifically the route to get the grub. Wait a second. I, I actually just connected the dots that the orange stuff, because uh, her eyes were orange, so she was clearly corrupted by whatever the orange stuff was, has something to do with the dreams. Because it was just, it was pure intuition that I was like, oh, hit her with the dream nail. See what's going on there, maybe I'll extract it or something. Oh god, right. I forgot I have to do this crap to get up there. I'm leaning more towards that being required. Like, the intended way to do it. I have no form of upward attack, except the up slash, so. Then I remember when I was being like extremely cautious about only using the up slash in the air. Alright. So I guess it's 20 in each route. are significant of where they are. Because I haven't noticed any patterns, per se.
No, that was more than 20. That was 21 in that one. Weird. Alright, it's not a warrior's grave or anything, but I forget what's over here. I think it was just money, actually, or maybe a badge. Okay, so now for the hard part, which is getting out, or at least the annoying part. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and um, mark the ones that I've actually completed. Like up here in the resting group. Why isn't that one actually marked? It's weird. Maybe because it's a tutorial one. So to kind of recap my understanding, um, Halloness started using Soul in order to, com to combat the Dream Plague um. Oh wait, can I bounce off the bottom set? I can't tell and I'm not risking it. Um, but that was actually kind of making it worse. So then they turned to the crystals from the Crystal Peak as an alternative source of energy. But that didn't work out. Um, clearly, because, I mean, it spread even here. The miners here are, and even just the wildlife are affected by the dream. That is a very basic gist of what I understand to be happening so far. Um, there's a vessel that I guess they tried to use to hold the stuff, but it's leaking again, because people who come down here are still getting infected. Um... We are connected to Hallow Nest somehow. Because the Dreamers, who I'm guessing are some kind of Elder Council, who, um, along with the titular Hollow Knight, are kind of keeping Hallow Nest as an eternal kingdom. Because it's kind of, you know, ruined. But the actual city is in remarkably good shape for being, you know, an ancient kingdom that's been long dead. Um, and may also have something to do with the fact that the enemies respawn. Um, So now, there, whatever is sealed is probably the source of the dream. I'm, I'm, I'm calling the plague the dream. I don't know if they are one and the same, but I think they are considering using the dream nail. 
um, did something when talking to pla plague addled um, minor girl. Um, that's basically all I understand so far. The Black Egg Temple is the freaking tomb, I'm now realizing, because, hey, isn't it funny that the marker is the same as the Hollow Knight statue's head? <laughs> I'm a little dense sometimes. Um, but yeah, next time on Let's Play Hollow Knight, um, I'm going to focus on the Whispering Roots. Because uh, there's one in the City of Tears, there's one in Fungal Wastes. Um, that'll be four that I've done. And then there's also that Warrior's Grave, which I want to see if it has any essence or anything like that. Thank you guys for joining. See you in the next one.